Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Alpaca Elements backpack that I've been testing for two weeks. Let's jump in. Okay, so kicking it off with some materials, we have a 500D Black Kodra HT 66 nylon on the main area of the bag here. And that is DWR coated, so it definitely helps with that weather resistance. There is 1680D ballistic nylon down here at the bottom panel. If I just pull that up a little bit, you can see that it's a slightly different texture. Just add some additional abrasion um, resistance. And then we also have, um, Let's see what kind of zippers these are up here at the top. These are not YKK zippers, I don't think. So they sometimes use YKK zippers. And I know recently that Alpaca just changed um, their wallet to use YKK zippers. Uh, so maybe they'll be doing them on other packs. These were okay. They're also lockable, which is nice. And uh, there's some weather resistant uh, seams here as well. So that definitely, definitely helps out with it. Overall, I enjoyed testing this pack. It's a nice slim profile, which I like. So I'm just gonna put it on for you real quick and show you how it looks. So there you go. I just, I really like the slim profile. It's super good for like everyday carry, which I dig. Um, for travel, I definitely wouldn't use it. Also, like if you have like a lunchbox or something else uh, that you wanna put in here that's a little bit bigger, it's not really gonna accommodate it just because it is so skinny. So let's talk about the harness system. And <laughs> this is really interesting. I actually had the whole team try this on because I was really curious about these, the texture right here and how it felt with people. Because when I put it on, I can definitely feel it a little bit. It feels different than a standard backpack, um, but just like ever so slightly. And I've had like thousands of bags on, so that definitely helps. But I like it overall, it's kind of funky. Um, this kind of like polygonal design, I think it's comfortable. Um, the team was kind of split on it, but then again, they just tried it on, they didn't get used to it over the course of two weeks. So I think anyone can get used to it. It's definitely interesting. Um, no load lifters at, top. at the top, they keep it nice and clean. Um, a bar tack here for some reinforcement up at the top. And then we've got a nice padded handle right here at the top as well. So. Pretty cushy, it's soft to the touch. I think it's the perfect size for a bag of this size. So that's all good to go there. Um, two little Hypalon loops here where you can attach some of Alpaca's accessories. I've got some on the inside, so we'll talk a little bit more about them when we get onto the inside of the bag. And then we have a standard sternum strap here as well. So clip that in, tighten it up, um, elastic keeper here to just keep that from um, flapping all over the place. Um, didn't really use the sternum strap much. Didn't really find a need for it um, on a bag of this size. One thing I will say is that I don't love that like this can slide around so much on that area. I don't, I don't love it. Um, and then it's kind of blocked by this hypalon as well. So that's just a little thing with the sternum strap. I usually like when there's like a rail going across the top here and you can just adjust it to like exactly what you want. Uh, down at the bottom here, we just have some plastic hardware. We've got elastic keepers as well, just so it keeps things locked and not flapping around. I don't see a brand on these, so I'm not really sure. Again, like I don't love when I don't see like Duraflex or ITW or Wujin logo on these buckles, which I just I don't see. Um, but again, Alpaca seems to be switching it around on some of their items, so maybe just take a look at a new iteration or if you're not concerned about what hardware they use, then it's totally cool. But I like to look for YKK for zippers and then Duraflex and, and Wujin and things like that for, for plastic buckles. Because they can sometimes be of lower quality, but th these have felt fine, honestly, what I've been using it. Um, back panel here, it's a nice foam. You've got an air channel right down the middle and then you have it on the sides as well. So that's really nice. Um, I found this to be completely fine. It is Michigan in winter, so. Fine, it is Michigan in winter, so. It is winter in Michigan. Uh, so I haven't really tested this, um, you know, in the summer in the sweltering heat, but like there's a little bit of mesh for added ventilation. 
um, which always helps. I mean, if you're going to get a sweaty back, you're going to get a sweaty back, and that's just how it's going to be. Um, two water bottle pockets here on the side, and actually, just one second, I'm going to go grab a water bottle, and I'm going to just make sure uh, a couple different sizes can fit inside of here. So be right back. Okay, so we have a 32 ounce Nalgene and a 18 ounce Hydro Flask and a 32 ounce Hydro Flask. These are actually about the same, but I know a lot of people have Nalgene's. So I'm actually just gonna try that first. There's no way that's gonna fit in there. Nope, 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 does not fit. But a lower profile uh, Hydro Flask 18 ounce should fit inside. Boom, there you go. Fits in nice, I'm gonna set these down. Fits in nice and easy, and look at that pop of yellow right against the black of the bag. I think that looks really nice. Leave that in for now. Talking a little bit more about the construction of this water bottle pocket, I like this you know, elastic up here at the top, and then there's a fabric gusset here as well, so this will accommodate. Granted, it's a pretty small gusset. It will accommodate and lock in the bottle decently well, so I dig that. Take this out, set it off to the side, so two water bottle pockets, both on each side of the bag. We're gonna get into the inside of the bag. So let's start here with the exterior pocket. Uh, this is like the quick grab pocket. So I like this little flap. It helps with weather resistance. The zipper down below is reverse coil, but it's not, doesn't have tape seams, so it's not like an aqua guard zipper would be. Um, so this little flap can help with weather, and I just think it makes it look really nice too small alpaca logo, black on black on the side here, um, which is also cool. Let me hold that up to the camera just so you can see it. Flip this up, open it, and I'll show you what I got inside. So I wanted to put these gloves in because you can see the size of them and it bulked out that front pocket a little bit. So if you wanna rewind, you can see that. And I've just got like a couple little items in here as well. Set those off to the side. And yeah, this is about the dimension dimensions of the pocket, what you see is what you get there. And just a nice little dump pocket. But again, if you're gonna put like bulkier items in here, it, it doesn't work the best. Like those gloves, you could see bulked it out a little bit, even if they're soft. So just keep that in mind when you're loading it up. And then let's hop to the main compartment. So this is actually that taped seam, that more AquaGuard style zip. If I open this up, it's a horseshoe zip, goes about mm, halfway down the bag. And then I open it up inside, and then that's where we see all these customized goodies on the inside too. So if I hold this up to you, those goodies just kind of fly out like that. Let me just set this stuff down here. There we go. All right, so yeah, you can see, I mean, it looks kind of like a mess from the top because it, it I mean, it's clean, but like if you want to get to the bottom, it can be challenging. I wanted to put this roof stand in here just to show that that nicely slides in on the side. So let me pull that out for now. But if I want my tech kit, you know, which is at the bottom, I got to dig through all those alpaca hub accessories and then grab that tech kit down there at the bottom. So a global pouch from a Pioneer and then I've just got a, um, a rain shell in here as well. So let me set those off to the side. So you can see that it, it can obstruct access. And then if you have like hub accessories on this side as well, it just turns out to be quite a bit. I've got the keys here, pull those off. You can actually get like a little magnetic rail too that you can stick on your wall. You can hang these up too. I really like when companies do this with the ecosystem. You have like Tom Bin comes to mind, Peak Design comes to mind. Um, they just do a really good job. Black Ember too, they kind of like design everything so it all works together. So. The hub accessory, there we go, the keys. I'll set those off to the side. And then we have a card carrier here and then a hand sanitizer uh, holder as well. So I'm gonna set those off to the side. I'll actually keep the keys up here because I wanna just show you how this clip works. So it's just like, it's pretty standard clip that you just attach to the inside of the this black thing. Um, maybe you could wear it in your hair too if you have long hair, I don't know. I don't know how long hair works. And then you could just clip it right there as well. So nice magnet, very solidly on there. I mean, it flew off with me like whipping it around, but that's solid. If I whip it, see if I can get it off. I can't even get it off again. But yeah, it's, it's pretty solidly on there, which is great. Um, pull this off, put it back. 
And then just to demonstrate, you can put it on this side as well. So, I mean, you can really, I mean, if you, you can have like six or even like eight hub accessories if you really want to crank this thing out. I mean, it's again with a slim profile, you can already see that these are, these two hub accessory clips are hitting one another. So you probably don't want to go too crazy. I don't even know how you get to the bottom of the bag if you've got hub accessories on both sides, but maybe that's all you want, right? Maybe you just want like an emergency hoodie down there at the bottom if you want to go all hub accessories. So that's how that works. Then there are a couple more pockets on this thing. Um, there's one little mesh pocket here at the top. I've just got my AirPods Pro in them so I can unzip that. Just show you how that fits in there, which is nice. And then I like this pocket as well. So this I've just got uh, notebooks in, some sunglasses, field notes notebook here just for measurement to show you. So if I'm putting it in vertically, that'll fit as well. And that's about the height of the pocket. So the height of the pocket is about the height of a field notes, set that in, zip it up. And I like these pockets right here. The one thing I will say about them is that again, like you don't really want to put anything with a lot of depth in them. You can see there's a gusset here at the bottom, so it does have some expandability. But again, um, this bag is just quite uh, slim, so you just don't want to bulk it up too much. All right, and then I'll just show you, I've got my 16 inch laptop in here as well. So the inside of this bag is pretty simple overall. 16 inch laptop just goes right inside there, which is cool. And uh, yeah, alpaca, keep moving forward. It's a nice soft to the touch material here. Fits that 16 inch laptop perfectly as well. I just have it inside of a matador sleeve. So that's it, the alpaca elements backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We will see you in the next video.